We're finally up in edit. We're finally looking like something. We're not looking like yesterday like we did a few hours ago. We came to the room and did like a two hour nap. And now we're up and about to eat because we have a tour coming up at 1.30. And we want to get something in our bellies before we go on tour. Say hey, babe. Hey, babe. Oh, God. He gets my nerve. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, too. We always gotta do some kind of research to see what's what's the best restaurants because we want to eat like the locals. We're off. We're off. About to go so get us sick. some eats, some good old New Orleans eats. Did it make sense? Good old grubbery. The last time we was in this car was five in the morning and the sun was coming up. Now we up and we look a little bit more refreshed. Well, so much for trying to go to Neal's. It was closed today. That's why I can't depend on Apple for everything because I always use Google Maps. And if it's not within the hours of operation, it will tell you that this location is closed and it won't let you go. But Apple will let you, Apple Maps will let you go all the way to the location and ain't nobody there but you. <laughs> so we're going to go to the rum house. I made sure that they were open this time. We're just trying to get something where we know we can be back at the hotel by 1.30 because that's what time the bus pick us up. But if all fails, we'll just have to meet them out there, but I think we're good. We say three more amazing miles of Magazine Street ahead. This must be like where people come out and hang, kind of like a 7th Street. <laughs> Proceed to the route. Okay, give us time. Get her our bounce music. Trying to get another dog. I don't want another dog. Anyways, <laughs> I know how to ate my lipstick off. <clears throat> the food was great. The rum house. Yeah, I should go try that. It's on Magazine Street. Now we're about to get to the hotel, so the tour bus can pick us up for our tour. It's our bouncing. Just a fantasy. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he found this to be mixed in with this. But. Ain't this bumpy? We gonna make the right red. Ah, I'm so full. Go to Rum House. Yeah, go to Rum Rum House. <coughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't drink much because I'm pissy. Like I always gotta pee, and I didn't want to be on this tour for both. I mean, this trip bus that gotta pee. What you want now? I'm pissy. I always gotta pee. And then I be at a tight. That's what happened to us when we was on, uh, when we was out walking. I had to pee real bad, and I was I was pissed off at myself. I got to pee, messing up stuff. Oh no, you! Black black If you look right here, sitting on a statue, you've got three. Uh, Three granite guys and one live guy. Don't look at the live guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting up there holding on to the toe of the Indian. Um, okay. Uh, the Frenchman in the morning. Yeah. Of course, on our left, look at all the mules. We use mules rather than horses. They can take the heat a lot better. Uh, better than us, really. Yeah. This is the cemetery for the tour. I'm so excited. Oh, we're going to be glad to get back in there. Look at that. Oh, You excited, babe? Yeah, this is good. You don't like this part? I'm excited. I don't know why I'm excited. You like cemeteries. I don't like cemeteries, but this is me because they're above the ground. Hmm. Originally, we did try to bury our dead folk in the ground. Problem was, with our high water table and numerous floods, 
Every time we turn around, Grandma come popping out of the ground. Oh well, you can imagine, two or three times a year, that would get old pretty quick. <laughs> One of the big problems was when you dug a hole six foot down, it would fill up with water. Well, you throw a coffin in on the top, of course, it's going to float like a boat, right? Well, that air escaping was the problem. As the air escaped, it would make a gurgling noise. Here we are shoving grandma under water, she starts gurgling. People didn't like that too much. It was just, there's a Sylvanian tomb, tomb, and I talked to the guy that's in charge of that one. He was telling me that in the above ground portion right there, there's 300 men in there. All the women are in the ground behind it. That is yeah. so, this is neat. That is neat. It's neat. Mm. <laughs> it's hot out here. I'm starting to sweat. It's time to go in, but that was a lot of interesting information about the cemetery. I'm just so fascinated by it because, of course, it looks different. It's above ground. You ready to go where, babe? He didn't like it. Well, it's interesting, but I mean, it is creepy because this people here, people, dead people. <laughs> but I know people here, some spirits here. You're right about that. We are covered. Oh, this is a Catholic cemetery. That's why we, we saw we mother. All want. We go in that area. Ain't no cover. We saw mother, mother Teresa. That's why. We, that's why we saw mother Teresa because this is a Catholic. Cemetery, so we wouldn't be here anyway if we stayed in New Orleans. So we made a stop. We got a 25 minute break at Morning Call in the Oaks. And guess what? They have been yay! Have been yay! So we're gonna enjoy. Right now the river is down, but when the river comes up to 17 feet, okay, look to your right. Now look at that second house off the corner, right next to the yellow one. See the uh, house built up again? There's another guy built up. I don't care what neighborhood I'll take you in. I'll take you into any neighborhood and show you people building like that. They don't want to be at or uh, below sea level. They want to be above that mark. Up to it. You know I've got a laminate for that. <laughs> when you look at this laminate with all our refrigerators in here, look at the street sign. Here's the street sign, Pine Street Boulevard, with the watermark still on it. Now, I don't know if it's that street sign, but it's Pine Train Boulevard. This is Pine Train Boulevard. Uh, it would literally take the speech right out of it. The first three or four tours I did, I could barely get a word out of my mouth. I, I, just, I just couldn't say anything. I was too damn choked up to even talk. It was just one huge, you know, ocean of water, and of course, all the debris, the garbage cans, and the sewage, and oh my God, uh, it got to be really rank after a while. It started off brown, but uh, after about uh, two weeks, it went to jet black. Now, one more, one more uh, watermark. If you look at this street sign with the arrowheads, this is a new, a new sign. It does not have a watermark, but when I bring you up here, just past these little trees on the right, it's the same sign, but now look across the top of the arrowheads, and you'll see the watermark again. Like I said, that's where the water sat for six weeks. In the lower ninth ward, they won't allow us to bring a tour bus down there. Uh, they have a moratorium that's been in there since about three months after Katrina. Uh, we were going down there trying to you know, show the Lower Ninth Ward, St. Bernard, Plaquemine, New Orleans East, we were going all over. But the Lower Ninth Ward had a problem because where those houses were washed up in a debris field, there were still bodies in there, even though the cadaver dogs cleared it. Uh, they were still finding a relative. We are back to the hotel from the Katrina slash city slash cemetery tour. I'm just gonna go put my phone on the charger. We got about an hour, a little over an hour before we have to be at the dock for our steamboat tour. Yeah. <laughs> Stop waiting. 
<laughs> okay, you know, y'all, y'all, that can eat talk. Yeah, I know we fell asleep last night, and when we woke up, The Temptations was on, <laughs> and we watched it, and it was on again this morning. But this song is in my head at the end with Smokey. Was it Smokey Robinson? Smokey Robinson. It's Smokey Robinson was singing this song. <laughs> at, when Blue had died, it's not funny, but the song is because I ain't my hair just flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he was singing. That's the way Smokey Rob Robinson was singing. I look like Smokey too. Right? You do? Smoking. But I don't know why, but that song won't get out my head. Bit. That's how he. That's how he's singing in the old church. Oh Lord. Like old Baptist pre uh, preacher. <laughs> Where we got to do? Cause I, I got amnesia. About to go on the steamboat. Oh yeah, we got to go on this, the steamboat, the Natchez steamboat cruise. It's a two-hour cruise around the Mississippi River. Oh, ah, I miss you, ma. Is that our car right there? No, that's not it. We finally parked. We got a really good parking spot. We got a parking spot like in between where we going to catch the steamboat and Bourbon Street. So, and it was free on Sunday because it's Sundays to park. So we ain't gotta worry about walking back to the hotel in the dark. Cause we got our car to take us. And I believe this is a jazz cruise, so we will, we will hear some jazz. Bourbon Street to get something to eat because I'm starving. I don't know about that, but I'm starving. And we're gonna make up for last night since we fell asleep. Have us a good time tonight. Enjoy our last night here. I'm not gonna vlog too much of Bourbon Street because I want to enjoy it, but for those that have never been, I will show you a little bit of how it goes. So we're coming up on Bourbon Street. Like I said, I'm not gonna vlog too much. I don't want I really don't like walking around downtown with this camera looking like a tourist. 
because I feel like we're targets, but <laughs> yep. I'm just going to show y'all a little bit of Bourbon Street. It's probably not as popping as much as it would on a week in night. This is where I love to get the hand grenade. They're so good. They may be called green grenade. Hand grenade, that's what it's called. Drink, bars, restaurants, and everybody just walks and drinks. We took a break from Bourbon Street, or we stopped on Bourbon Street because we were hungry and we couldn't find anything that was open. So we are at, at Daisy Duke's Cafe and I got a cup of gumbo. And we're waiting on our entrees to get here. We have, uh, we in for the night, okay? <laughs> I am tired, I'm dog tired. If they wanted to do something else, I would've, I would've did it, but I really just want to get to bed. So good night, just in case you don't hear back from me until the morning. That might be the next time you see me.